Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Yesterday, Bethesda did a huge announcement regarding the future of Fallout 76, and there are 11 things that you really should consider right now. We have finally heard about Wastelanders and when is it coming for real? Now everyone was kind of expecting to be at the end of November, but that's not the case. Bethesda has just pushed it back to 2020, they mentioned that it will come out at some point in the first quarter, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will be in January or February, because the first quarter is basically the first three months of the year, January, February and March which means we could see Wastelanders coming out at the end of March. That's always a possibility. Anyway, not everything is bad news. We got some really unexpected news about private service coming live next week. That's right. Bethesda has also shared some more information about what's coming until the end of 2019. They shared their thoughts about uh, introducing some more Atomic Shop items that have real value for the players, reworking the challenge and reward systems, and they have also posted some new Wastelander screenshots that are quite interesting. So let's start with the main news, of course. <laughs> I'm sure that you've heard about the big news somewhere. The Wastelanders DLC is being pushed back to 2020 and it's everywhere in the online media right now. That's because Bethesda announced yesterday that Wastelanders is no longer coming in November this year and instead it's coming next year in the first quarter. Besides the delay, Bethesda has also shared a few new screenshots that are very teasing. It clearly shows a transformed Appalachia world and the NPCs are coming for good, they're going to take their place in Appalachia and some of them are new, just like this goal NPC that is coming along with all the other characters that were somewhat introduced in the trailer already. So the main conclusion from these screenshots is that Wastelanders will include many different NPCs and that's a great thing. Let's just hope they won't delay it one more time. Alright, the upcoming DLC has been delayed, we already know that, but there is something that I want to discuss here quickly. Bethesda mentioned that this DLC is becoming one of the largest expansions they have ever worked with with all their games. So that could explain why they have decided to delay it, because it would be a chaotic mess if they released it right now. I believe that they don't have most of the content ready, and the one they do is probably full of errors and bugs, since they are making entire new systems, and with this engine, things can get really, really messy, as we already know, with the amount of bugs that exist since the very day of release. But that's most likely not the only reason that made them delay Wastelanders, because most recently we had a few delays with features like the legendary player system that was supposed to come out with the Nuclear Winter DLC and was pushed back to 2020. That's a huge delay. We also have the social friend list that is bugged for ages and they said they will address it soon, but it's taking them forever to do so. Even patch 14 is taking a long time and they mentioned that it would fix the public events cooldown which is basically not spawning events as it used to and we are still waiting since September. The great and unexpected news is about Private Worlds coming live next week. It was a real surprise for me, I wasn't expecting it, not even close, but it seems like we are getting the private worlds option in the play menu in a few days from now. That's a really great thing in my opinion, but Bethesda also mentioned that their goal with this service is to offer something for everyone, not just those who want a private server. Now, what does this mean? It could mean a lot of things, and in my view, it could possibly mean that they will slowly replace the official servers with private servers. 
I know that sounds bizarre, but think with me, if they add some extra options for the servers like extra experience, extra loot and so on like many other games have for their custom servers, that would break the entire balance of the game and they would have to make new systems like you have to make a new character to play in a custom server. Maybe that will happen, maybe it won't, only time will tell and next week we will find out. I've taken longer to make this video than usual and I'm glad I did because I found something that is quite suspicious. Now, I normally get really bad loot from the Scorch Beast Queen, from events, from anything that is a legendary boss basically. But since the 50% off sale started, things have changed. I got really great loot from the Prevere, for example. All of my rolls were good or really good weapons, starting by this bloodied minigun with explosive damage. And it seems like I'm not the only one here. Many other people are getting crazy good loot from the Prevere and from legendary bosses. And some people have directly asked me what's going on, if the algorithm has changed, if there was a patch that increased the legendary effects in any way possible. And I don't think there was, but maybe they did something. Bethesda sometimes does stealthy updates without us noticing. But the amount of great loot that is going on right now is incredible. And I'm starting to think that they did something, maybe because they delayed Wastelanders. They are somewhat compensating by giving us really good loot from the Prevere and even from legendary boss drops. It's just a theory, some people seem to agree with me. It wouldn't surprise me at all if it was true, because they have been disappointing people over and over, so a stealthy boost in legendary effects like this would make a lot of people happy. We know that mods will eventually come to Fallout 76. It has been long announced by Bethesda about a year ago. They said that the game would have mods just like Fallout 4 and some mods actually exist for Fallout 76. They are like utility and quality of life mods right now, but things will get better and better as time goes by. Now, with the private worlds coming next week, it's only a matter of time until advanced mods will hit Fallout 76 as well, so I do think that they will come sooner than we expect, exactly as it just happened now with the private worlds announcement yesterday. The next point is about something very sensitive for most players in Fallout 76, and it can be good or bad depending on your opinion. Bethesda is thinking about reworking the Atomic Shop and bringing more quality of life with real value in game items. Now, this kind of contradicts what they said one year ago at the release that the Atomic Shop would mostly or only include cosmetics. But that's not what we have seen lately. They have introduced several items that have a direct impact in games, such as the refrigerator that allows you to decrease the spoilage rate of foods, and even the scavenger bot that will get junk or scrap items for you while you are adventuring or doing whatever else. We also have scrap kits that were introduced recently and the improved repair kits that were introduced a while ago, but they still affect the balance of the game. So expect more of this type of items to pop up in the near future. That's part of Bethesda's plans right now. But it's not only the Atomic Shop that will suffer a rework. It seems like Bethesda also wants to change the challenge and the reward systems as well. They didn't give us any details, they only mentioned that they are planning and reworking parts of the systems. Now, for the reward one, we know that for events they want to change it a little bit to allow people to get legendary items from events with legendary bosses, even if they don't hit the bosses, for obvious reasons. Griefers. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what are they going to do here, but they have kind of removed a lot of atoms, I think one or two months ago from beginner challenges. So maybe they are going to do this again since they seem to be desperate for money right now. 
There is a line in the article that really catched my eye, where Batanza says that they want to allow players to choose to buy atoms to make the game better for others, not just themselves. This could mean that they are working on some items with altruist or co-op functions, like the ability to help other people do something or do something better, or it could just mean that they want to allow you to gift atoms to other people. That could also be a possibility. Whichever is the case, I think this one is a very positive one and it goes accordingly to the community requests and wishes. Now, they haven't mentioned anything about Patch 14 in this recent article, but we know that as a matter of fact, Patch 14 is coming later this month in October because they mentioned that in another article, I think two articles ago. And judging how slowly they have been releasing patches, I think they will release the new Halloween event with Patch 14 as well. Other than that, we don't know much else besides the fact that they are going to normalize the public events frequency again. They are going to increase the cooldown and they have announced that a long time ago, mid-September. So we are basically waiting for over a month for them to fix it and bring back the frequency of events that we used to have before patch 13. Well, something else that made me think a little bit was this line here. It's very short at the end of the article, and it mentions that Bethesda is working on new events. Could this possibly mean that we will have a new event for Christmas or even new year? That would be awesome because it is still part of 2019 and Bethesda has claimed that there is plenty of new content coming out until the end of the year. That's pretty exciting. We don't know what it is, but they have confirmed that they are working on new events. Maybe even Fastnacht will return during this fall or maybe winter. We will see. All right, what other features is Bethesda working out right now besides the Wastelanders DLC? They have reminded us that they have been working and creating the legendary player system that has been delayed, as mentioned before. They are also creating the Perks loadout system, which already exists through a mod, but they are trying to make it official. They are also working on a new authentication mode and the public test mode server which will join the adventure, nuclear winter, and then public worlds options in the play menu. They have also mentioned that they have been working on a lot of improvements, server stability, and bug fixes. That one really interests me and I hope they are working very hard on this one. That's pretty much everything I have for you guys regarding news on Fallout 76. I know it's not the best moment ever for the game. Wastelanders has just been pushed back to 2020. We have to wait a long time now. We have waited enough and it's not happening in November. It really isn't. But on the other hand, we have the private service coming up. I'm not sure how will everything work. Maybe it will be a great experience, better than we expect. I at least hope so. But for the time being, we have the upcoming Halloween event, which is brand new. Maybe we'll have a Christmas or New Year event as well. Patch 14 is right at the door and the private servers are coming live next week. Let's see what's coming next. And for now, that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new around and you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. I also have a Patreon page for anyone who would like to support me to keep doing this kind of content. The link is always in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Until the next video, guys, take care. Adios. Bye bye.